Hey there everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make realistic drop shadows right in Canva. Hey there, I am Kate Danielle and this is Coffee in Canva, where I provide DIY tips for boss ladies who want to create awesome graphics in Canva. So you can see here in this template I have, um, which this template is available in my Boss Lady Design Kit, it has a little bit of a drop shadow behind it. And I am just going to remove that so you can see it. There it is without it. And there it is with it. Now, to create this drop shadow, I've actually made a special little tool. You'll simply upload it to your upload section here in Canva. And it looks a little something like this. This little fuzzy rectangle. So first I'm going to just quickly um, lay something out in here. Okay, so I've just pulled over some elements from my template that I was showing you before. And now we're going to insert the drop shadow behind this box. So find it in your uploads where you uploaded it. And you just drag it on, onto your design. I am going to roughly size it to the same size as this square. And it is important to know that you do not have to maintain proportions for this. So I'm going to hold shift down so I can actually make this more of a square shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and send it back behind the white box. And now I can see that I need to size it down a little bit more. And I could leave it like this and adjust the transparency here and you have a bit of an outer glow around all edges. But I want to offset it just a little so I'm going to keep dragging it to hide it a little bit more on that side. And it's looking pretty good but now you may want to lighten it up a bit. And you can really just set that transparency to your liking. Scooch it over just a tad. There we go. And it's a very subtle, realistic looking drop shadow that makes that box jump out a little bit more. And a little bit more realistic than some of the native ways you can make drop shadows. Which I do talk about in a post over on my blog if you want to check those out. But I really prefer the more realistic look because it helps you not have that Canva look as much. While I love Canva, I say it's sort of like makeup. We love it, we love to use it, but we really don't want people to know that we're using it. At least that's how we used to do makeup anyways. Maybe not so much more these days. So there you go, a quick and easy way to make a realistic drop shadow. Again, you can find the link to get the download to that and see the other ways to create drop shadows below this video. All the information is down there. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel for more Canva tips like this. 